Welcome to Summer Online Physical Education. Uh, this is going to be our longest video. It's going to just be a general description of the course uh, and the requirements and the expectations. Um, the following videos down below will get into more specifics. Uh, so starting with the course here, you can see that it's set up here with these buttons. This would be my recommended way of navigating the course is just using these buttons to get around. Okay, there are modules set up. So if you would like to use the modules that is available and all the exact same activities um, are still listed here within the modules. Um, in my personal opinion, um, things are a little bit more clear when you use the buttons. Okay, uh, so starting with our class syllabus here. First thing you'll notice is there are only five units, right? And then you can see here the time frame of which that unit runs. So each unit is running for one week, right? Summer school is uh, five weeks long. We cover five units, um, works out pretty well. Uh, within each one of these units, there's gonna be different tasks that you're completing. Right, so the first one here, a game plan. So that's basically just the outline, the learning targets of what you'll be learning within that unit. Uh, the lesson, these are PowerPoints, and these are this is the information that you're gonna wanna look over and review. Um, and then the information from these PowerPoints is what our quizzes are based on in number six here. Right, so those two go hand in hand. Uh, there are sprint links. And these are basically just uh, various web links that are additional information related to whatever unit that we are in. Uh, team huddle, this is a class discussion. Uh, this is our way of uh, communicating with one another um, since we are not necessarily all meeting face to face. Um, so this is how we will talk about various topics. Um, each unit does have one or two assignments um, so you'll want to make sure that you're completing those as well. And then last and most important, you will have daily fitness activities, right? So for each day of the week, Monday through Thursday, um, except for 4th of July weekend, uh, we will have daily fitness activities that are assigned for you to complete. So moving on to the expectations for the class. So a, you definitely need to be uh, accessing this course Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every single day. The reason being, there are daily physical activities for each and every single day, right? And those activities need to be completed that day um, and any assignment associated with those daily activities need to be submitted by the end of that same day. Uh, your learning tasks. So you can see here, team huddles, assignments and quizzes. They will all open on a Monday and they will all be due by midnight on Thursday. A little bit about grading here, try to make some sense of that. So there's gonna be two major categories that we're focusing on. We have active engagement. So each daily fitness activity will be entered into Infinite Campus. Um, so you're looking at, um, depending on the week, three to four marks per week. Uh, there is a knowledge category, right? So within this one, you have that quiz that will be entered into Infinite Campus. That will be one mark per week. There will also be uh, various assignments, typically one or two assignment each unit that will also be entered into Infinite Campus and those will count as small summative assessments. Um, a little bit about late work because it is super, super important that you are uh, completing and submitting this work on time. Um, so in order to be eligible to turn in any late work, you must communicate ahead of time with your teacher, right? If you do get behind on something, uh, you miss an assignment, you need to keep your teacher in the loop, let them know that you're working on it and when you plan uh, to get that turned in. All right, so that's something you and your teacher need to communicate about. All right, you cannot just turn something in one week late or two weeks late and just assume that your teacher is going to accept that, right? That is not how uh, late work um, operates in the school district. 
Um, so you can see here, very important that you notify your teacher when you are submitting late work. Right after you've developed that plan, you submit it. Last step is letting your teacher know, right, so that we can go look for that in Canvas and then update your marks. Uh, last one here, right, so if you are going to chronically submit late work, it will have a negative effect on your grade. So you can see here, um, if you get to five late assessments, right, all other late assessments that you submit after that will no longer be eligible for a mark of a four. Um, so it's super important that you do not get behind in this class. Moving on to the course schedule. So this is a list of every single thing except for the daily physical activities. Um, so these are basically all of the learning tasks from each and every single unit. Um, it will let you know if it's being graded as a small summative assessment, a large summative assessment, um, or if it is just a formative assessment. Um, it will also let you know the due date for each and every single task that you have to complete for this five weeks. Right, so I'm not gonna get into uh, all the details here of every single week. Uh, we'll just use kind of unit one as an example. Um, so you can see here, starting with the course introduction, um, you're reviewing the syllabus, the course schedule, watching tutorial videos, uh, completing a course introduction quiz, and a course contract. And you can see um, due dates listed here, right? Um, if I come down here to unit one, so for example, these are all the PowerPoints, multimedia lesson, that means that it's a PowerPoint, these are your lessons. Okay, so then remember your lessons, that's the information that we use to build your quizzes, right? Um, down here you have those sprint links, those are just web links. We have one assignment in unit one, we have one team huddle in unit one, um, and excuse me, we do have a second assignment in unit one. Um, and then you can see the due dates for everything right here. You can see that um, these are labeled right here. You can see which assignments are gonna be small summative, which ones are going to be large summative. And if you scroll up here, you will see that assignments marked as NA um, are formative assessments. Okay, so the same holds true for all of the other units down below. Um, this is something if you have the ability to, maybe worth printing out uh, and keeping on your desk or on your fridge or somewhere that's visible to you on a regular basis. Um, and then as you complete these things, you could just kind of check them off, cross them out. Okay, so uh, we will go quickly over the course introduction here. Um, on your very first day here, June 21st, uh, we have some things to cover before we kind of dive in, right? So um, we're kind of doing that right now within this video, uh, but you need to review the syllabus, uh, the course schedule we just went over. Um, you're going to want to take a look at the five video tutorials because those will give you uh, the information um, and, the and the directions you need to complete every single task within this course. You will be completing a quiz and a course contract as well. This will take you to a Google form. Okay, so this is what you'll be completing on uh, June 21st. Ideally, just get it done on the 21st, but it is it does have a due date of the 24th. Okay, so getting into the uh, bulk of what the class is here and how each and every single week is laid out. So um, if I click on week one here, it's going to take me to the week one page. The first button is always going to take me to um, the learning activities tasks for the week. So remember within here, um, they open on the Monday and then they will uh, be due on the following Thursday. Uh, thereafter, you can see this, these are the buttons um, for each day of that week, the uh, physical activity that you'll be performing, All right? So we'll start with um, our lessons and assessments here. Um, and this is to reiterate from, your, from the syllabus, from the course schedule, um, this is where you find this information now. So up here you have your learning targets. 
Um, here are your lessons. You click on these and they will open up those PowerPoints. Um, down below, you have uh, team huddles. You have a couple of assignments and you have your quiz. And then again, these web links at the bottom, um, these are kind of just enrichment learning opportunities um, that you can check out if you uh, please. So um, again here, you got your due dates right next to each one of these tasks. So it's very clear as to when this needs to be completed by, right? You'll notice for simplicity, they're all just due on the same day. All right, so this is where you'll access your learning activities, right? If I go back to week one, all right, now we'll get into the daily physical activities right here. So we'll start with Monday. Again, I'm not going to get into like the specific directions for each one of these activities because um, each day is going to be a little bit different, but we'll go over a couple of examples. Um, so Monday here, June 21st activity, all right, um, you have your directions up here. Um, and using this as an example, it is going to take you to a Google form where your actual um, workout is and, and that's where you will um, put in all the information that you need for this one okay if I go back to week one and I go to Tuesday you'll see that the format of this one is slightly different all right but what I want to get across right here everything you need to know um, to complete these daily activities is listed here um, try to give you detailed directions as to what exactly you need to do. This one, you will be opening this link um, that will list what exercises you're completing. Once you complete those exercises, you'll come down here uh, and open up this Google form, which will be uh, a reflection, as you can see here. Um, as you answer the reflection questions, make sure you have this rubric handy right and focus on that four if you want to get that four make sure you are addressing all of these components within um, this category here okay so anytime there's reflection questions there will be an associated rubric so that you can try to get the best possible mark all right so that is the gist of this course each and every single week um, if i go back to week one one more time the lessons and assessment here will open on Monday. They are everything in here is then due on the following Thursday. Okay. Um, and then mention the importance of logging on Canvas every single day. All right. And the reason being is you have a physical activity, uh, some form of exercise or workout to complete every single day. Right. And again, those um, should be completed and submitted by the end of the day that they are assigned.